I just wanted to upload a quick update video on a tactical climbing wall project that I did in Parma, Idaho back in uh, well, March of 2014. Today is June the 1st, 2021, but back in December of 2020, I was coming home to Oregon after working a project in Alabama. And since I'd be driving by Boise, I thought that I'd stop in and take a look at the climbing wall project. I was happy to see that the wall was in excellent shape. Six years plus had gone by and I enjoyed being able to stop by and take a walk down memory lane. With that said, here's a short clip of the wall now. I've also included the original video that I produced, which shows us making the wall. Thanks for watching my videos. If you enjoy the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Y'all have a great day now. Bye. Just doing a real quick video on the, uh, the tactical training tower. It's been over six years. I did it back in 14, and this is now 2020. And uh, short of the bird droppings here and there that I'm seeing from the doves that just landed or pigeons, it looks like it's in good shape. I don't see any cracking or anything. This was one heck of a project, I remember. One heck of a project. They had us put us uh, bolt, uh, big nuts. Let's see if I can see one right there. And then there's another one right there. Inside of here is a big square four by four with, an all, with a, a, a welded nut to it, a big long nut. And you can screw in rocks to basically change the course, if you will, a little hand foothold rocks. But it uh, never got done as I knew it wouldn't. The wall itself is very climbable. And uh, they even put a zip line up here on it, which goes down to that tower over there, so that'd be fun. But all in all, I see no delamination or cracking. Looks like it's in good shape. But I just thought I'd stop by. I was driving from Alabama to Oregon, and I just wanted to stop by and see what it looked like. I'm half tempted to climb up. They never did do a stairway up here properly. The ladder that we actually had uh, utilized to get up. It's still in place. I don't think they've done much. They had a succession of ladders, and they still do. The ladder goes up, goes up, and then there's another trap door up on the top to get up there. Eh, I guess it does. I don't really feel like climbing up there, though, and it's kind of cold out. So that's all I had for you. Just thought I'd show you that. This is a video of a 42-foot tall tactical climbing project that I did to qualify my interlocking rock panel system for Department of Defense projects. These projects are not like recreational climbing walls, but are exclusively for military tactical combat training for Department of Defense personnel. In this clip, I'm just riding the lift up the wall to show the completed rock up close and personal. This project was built using eight large interlocking rock panels that are all bolted to the steel tower. I will now go into how I made the rock wall project step by step. All right, we're at uh, Parma, Idaho, and we're doing a rock climbing wall on that tower back there behind us. We got a warm room that we made because it's like about 40 degrees right now. And uh, we've made a big panel that's going to be enough to cover about half of that inside this 24 by 24 room. We've got a big table and we've casted a monolithic pour where we're just going to take this roof off right now, set it off to the side, pick up our panel, take it over to the tower, hook it on, put the roof back on and get making more. So stick with us, we'll show you how it's done. You're probably wondering why am I taking the roof off of this little 24 by 24 building is because you couldn't just take the forks of the lift and put it underneath the panel and lift it up. You had to rig the panel so that you could pick it up and the roof had to be detachable because of that. It was just a lot of fun. We had to have this warm room because it was so doggone cold. All right, this little greenhouse warm room that we built is uh, got the roof off, but now we're taking the front access off. And this little thing don't look like much, but it took a 40 to 50, I think it was a 55 mile an hour they told us the gust winds were here. And uh, we made a little building here so we can keep our tools underneath the big table and uh, make big casting. So we're disassembling that now. We're going to pick out this big panel. We're going to stick it on the tower. All right, we're just pulling the lift in now just to kind of rig up the panel on the uh, spreader bars there. But... Uh, the roof had to come off because I couldn't just get up underneath the, with the forks. I had to rig this thing up. This particular panel is 18 foot and a half long. And uh, it was supposed to be a 35 foot tower, but we ended up realizing it was 40 feet. So we were five foot short with our first panel. But we also extended the height of the rock work about three feet over 
the top of the uh, tower and uh, came out to 42 or 43 feet, I don't remember which. Here at that video, you saw we were just picking up the panel and the rubber skins and molds were still attached to it here. We've got all the rubber off. We've rigged it up to where we could just transport it the 300 foot over to the tower and just gonna set it here down and then get back to putting this roof on because we need to get this warm room put back together put all the plastic back on and we heat it up with propane torches and we were getting it about 90 degrees it was uh about 30 I don't know, 35 to 40 during the day, and at night it got really cold, but uh, we needed the ambient temperature in the room to be hot enough to cure the panels. Here's the, f the first lift of the very first panel, and uh, we're just lifting it up, and then we bolt it to the uh, structure there, the steel tower, by taking angle iron, welding it to the tower through beams that we put on. Here we're putting the rebar, dowling it into the ground, epoxying the rebar in, and then we mud the base of the tower, of the uh, rock panel, to the concrete slab that we poured. Um, that just fixes it to the ground. And then every seven foot up, every seven foot, there's a beam that goes across that's welded to the tower, and then we run angle iron about six pieces out each level and bolt it right through to the uh, um, the rock. Here's the biggest panel that goes up on top. Now, I don't know if you notice this, but this is two panels. They're just bolted together. And <clears throat> this panel is going up on that beam that we made. It's already got the rock on the very top of it. It's got a steel angle iron beam, I-beam, and then it's got steel deck plate on top of that, which is white. And then we've got the gray rock that this is actually going to sit on, and we mud it to there. But uh, this is a uh, uh, what was it, a 20, 21 and a half or 22 foot long panel by, I think from the edge to edge was 20 feet wrapping around. And uh, we're just getting the lift up and setting it in place there. It's in place. And the rock, as I said, that it sits on is already there. And it's sticking out like a ledge to meet the next section that we're going to come up. If you notice, my first panel that I set was supposed to be up to that beam that we've already got there now we're missing five feet and then we were told it was a 35 foot tower but uh, obviously it was a, a little taller so no worries we just had that uh, beam to set this on anyway so we set it up there and then we were just going to make the the difference and we do that here so there's the five foot gap that we've got there and then up on the upper top left is another section that we're going to make actually it's two sections we have a six foot cantilever rock that sticks out because i guess the guys want to be able to climb up underneath the rock and be horizontal not vertical and it's like i don't know how anybody could climb that but we made it to their specification so there you go so there's three more sections right now the, the lower half is two pieces that are bolted together and then the upper half is two pieces that are bolted together and then we have the five foot section and then the cantilever section and the section underneath that so one two three four five six seven eight pieces eight interlocking panels to make this project complete um, I'm trying to look now and see. Oh, I want to address all the little black dots that you see on the rocks from this point on. Our handholds, uh, they want us, or they wanted us, we never did it, they want us to bolt some hand rocks onto the face of our rock because that's what the industry does to change up the course of climbing different routes. They'll put rocks in different positions. Well, we put about every two feet we put bolts into this with, with a backing plate uh, that would hold uh, the military guidelines were 5,000 pounds it had to hold. And we had tests, and I'll show you those tests. But um, <clears throat> the pull test, we call it, we actually got up to about 7,500. So we overdid their specifications by quite a lot. Um, here's the beam before I put it up that we made for that upper rock to sit on. And it's just an angle iron with the steel, half-inch steel deck plate that you see there welded. And then I actually put like a slate rock on top of that that I bolt to that so that you can see it on top there now that finishes the lower level the upper panel sits on top of that once we boom it up so the rock horizontally is already on that now I've put the pieces in for the five foot section that we were missing and the lift just got it up there and they're probably back there welding and bolting it to the tower and then we'll touch it up and go up to the next level so um, here again that same section just a little up close. And then now we're welding the six foot cantilever. It's actually a little bit more than six foot, but it, it actually extends out from the rock. So it's about eight, nine feet, but we're just welding the support for that right now. And then we cover it with rock. The next video shot, as you're going to see, we've actually got the under panel uh, underneath there. You can see it's bolted up on there. 
and now we're getting ready to hang the piece right below it to finish the face underneath that cantilever rock. So all I did was cut some holes in the panel, put the panel through the forks, and then put some C-clamps on there to where it couldn't come off. This is a little bit of tricky business. Right now, we're from, what is this, about six foot? So we're about, uh, I guess the tower's 40 foot. So the top of that's about 38, and then down to about 32 feet up in the air. That was quite a little fun to get that up into place, but we got it up into place. You hold it there with the lift long enough to get the guys to weld the uh, the angle iron out and bolt it through the face. And once that's done, you can pull your fork out of there and go back to touching it up. My idea with this whole project was I didn't want to take individual little panels and hang them all up on the in the forty you know feet up in the air. I wanted to build all of it that I could on the ground and then bolt it up to where it was interlocking, and there would be a lot less work than there was. This is about a thousand square feet of rock all said and done. So here it is finished, stained and sealed. And I'm just kind of giving you a little bit from the ground a view up of the climbing wall. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun doing the project and I had fun editing it. Thanks a lot. Bye. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. And I really appreciate you watching my video. Thanks so much.